the event that you want to get on a Zoom call and stream it to YouTube. It is not as obviously intuitive as you might think. Uh, maybe that's just me, but I have every single time I have to do it has it's been annoying. And so I want to show you exactly how to do it so that it won't be annoying for you. So the first thing is that you want to set up your Zoom meeting. So I've already done this, but the thing to note is that when you set it up, you have to save it before you even get to the point of seeing the advanced, is what they call it, um, options. And so you see, I saved what I just already had, and now I have this advanced area, or I guess the live streaming area. So I'm going to show you that again. It's going to be the same when you set it up. So let's say you set up a meeting you have all these options, you're overly looking, you're like, but where are the live streaming settings? I don't see them. You have all this set up. This is supposed to be on. Um, <laughs> and then you save it, and that's when it shows up. You gotta scroll to the bottom again, and here it is, okay? And then you'll go to configure custom streaming service. If you don't see this, it means that your account is not set up for um, live stream or custom live streaming, and you can do that in the settings, but this is this is where we're at all right so you're gonna say configure custom streaming service and it's gonna ask for your stream URL the key and the live streaming URL page so I'm gonna show you where to find those pieces of info in YouTube you can set up a stream by going to create on the top right and say go live now this is where you can schedule a stream instead of just going live. Um, so I'm going to say schedule stream and I could reuse my old settings or create new. I'll just uh, create new. So I'm going live with Teresa. So I'll say live stream watercolor succulents with Teresa. Um, I'll get rid of all this because it's not necessary. Find Teresa at Teresa Haddo. Actually, I should probably make that a URL. Okay. Let's round it out. There we go. Um, how to in style thumbnail. I like to upload a thumbnail for this so that it is eye catching and I can, you know, see that it's a live stream. So it's pre scheduled. Um, and then add to my playlist if I want. So this will be available uh, for replay after I go live. So I'll put it up under some of my playlists and then continue here. Um, in case you don't know, if you haven't done this before, uh, no, it's not made for kids does not mean it's not suitable for kids. It just means that it's not specifically targeted to kid age range. It's kind of strangely worded. Um, and then just go down, make sure all of your settings are as you'd want them to be. Watercolor tutorial, watercolor succulent. These are the um, succulent uh, painting succulents, um, painting tutorial, anything you want to say in your tags for better search. Um, and then English, none. You just make sure that you get all your settings done and then say next. I turn monetization on. I've got that done in my settings. Um, you're basically putting up a video the way that you normally would, but then you're also including, you know, things that are relevant to the stream. So I'm going to turn on live chat. Um, anyone message delay none redirect trailer. Okay. None. Next, I'll make this public, and then this is where you schedule. So this is going to be happening at 9 o'clock today. So in just a little bit, I'm going to say done. And then it's going to have this stream ready to go, and I'm going to have a stream URL, a stream key, and then a share key. So there's a lot of stuff going on right here, so let me, let me translate exactly what it is you need. This first box, the stream URL. You're going to grab that from the stream URL right here. The reason why I want to go through this is because it's not just bam, bam, bam. It's you grab it and then you go up and grab something and then you go over here and grab something. So stream URL, that one's easy. Just uh, click copy, come back over here and paste. Your stream key, go back over to YouTube and then uh, you'll see select stream key and then down here it says stream key. Just copy it. Um, 
you can show it if you want, but just copy, go over, stream key, done. And then live streaming page URL, you're gonna go back to YouTube, and then this is where you actually go to the share. So that is on the top right, this arrow here where it says share, and this video link right here is what you would share to send people to that page. So copy, go back over to Zoom, copy. <clears throat> and um, custom streaming service requires authentic, authent, authent oh my gosh, <laughs> authentication, what, why can't I know this word, oh my gosh, I'm not even going to do this right now, um, configure live stream during the meeting, custom streaming service requires authentic, oh my gosh, authentication, that's never happened to me before with that word, okay, this is our secret, um, so funny. Okay, I'm going to be caught up on this all day. Save, done. Okay, now it's saved. It's in here. There's nothing else that you need to do because your custom streaming service configuration for this specific meeting is ready. So um, your live stream is ready. This can be the link that you share that you have people come to right away. Um, otherwise, Let's talk about how you actually make it go live to where you want to make it go live. So if I open up Zoom and I know that that is specific to this meeting here, um, if I say I can press start and I'll bring this over. Hey, um, I'll bring this over here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to say more down on the bottom right here, more, and then you'll say live on custom live streaming service. And so it knows what you lo what you have saved. So it just loaded that page up for me, which I don't actually need. But it also allows me to be in here. So see, now I can see myself right here. But there's one extra step. It is, I'm staring because <laughs> there's going to be a lag. But um, just my mouth isn't going to match what I'm saying to you right now. But let's say... You see this and you think that you're live, you are not live. You actually have to press go live. <laughs> and then it will start to stream the meeting. So my meeting is where I'm coming in from, okay? I pressed more to go to the custom streaming and then press go live. So a couple of little bits there, live on custom streaming service because otherwise, I'm gonna take this away. Otherwise, if I say live on YouTube, it's just going to pull me through the normal YouTube scenario and allow me to go live. Where am I? There I am. Um, okay, so that's it. That's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. It's just like, there's a couple things that if you don't remember as you're doing it, it's like, wow, that's so frustrating. Why can't I remember that single step? Maybe it was just me but I'm willing to bet that if it was me, it's gonna be somebody else too. So you're welcome. Hope that was helpful.